For the 45th time out of 48 kicks by Rodrigo Blankenship, a touchback. And out come the Tigers to the 25. Here comes a blitz on third and six. Burrow flushed. And down he goes, and there's the sack. And it's DeAndre Walker right on cue. Boy, that's one thing you don't want your quarterback to do. I knew it right out that it was going to be a blitz. Now the clock has to go. I got to get rid of it. I don't want my offensive lineman eating the sack early in this game. Walker, the guy we highlighted, that's his fifth sack of the year. In situation, Bob Rosenberg's kick. Miko Hardman backpedals and has to call a late fair catch around the 29 yard line. Here comes a blitz from Devin White from down the middle and complete. And it's Isaac Nata, the tight end, for a first down. Down this year, but they'll have to earn this one. Third and ten from deep sideline streak. And, oh, just over the hands of Miko Harmon. It would have been a touchdown had he pulled it in. Not a great fun. No, not really. Out of bounds. It'll be inside the 20, I think, but Maybe. not by much. Maybe. I don't think so. The first down. Now it's a run blitz. And that doesn't pay off because Brosette just rambles out for 11 more for the Tigers. Six in the hole, and they run right behind him. And now it's play action and deep ball for Burrow. What a catch by Marshall again. Freshman on freshman, he beat Tyson Campbell. Early in the game last week, he had one just like that, and Jefferson dropped it. This time, they make him pay. That's you. Burrow. To the end zone, jump ball, knocked down. Yeah, there's that guy again. The Andre Baker, the guy <laughs> Gary talked about in the open. Yeah, perfect throw. Now, every, anybody's being capable of being beaten, but if you better do it at a high level because Baker has seen it all. He's been in this league. He's took the... Burrow throws late across the middle, incomplete. At Auburn, this will be a 33-yard field goal attempt, and it's up and good. So the Tigers got a long pass backed up to its own 15-yard line now. DeAndre Swift, and he found an opening. Great move there to plant his foot and get out back across the 25 near the 27. Trips to the top of the screen, but it's a draw play to Swift right up the middle. DeAndre Swift broke a tackle at the 35 and all the way out to the 45-yard line. Carries for 12 and then 18, and now it's back to Holyfield up the middle. And Elijah, whoa, runs over John Battle. He won that battle. Ash to try to tie the game, and it's a fake. And it's Blankenship trying to carry it. Down he goes. Devin White. Edward Zelaer behind Burrow will get the call in Georgia all over that play. The Georgia fans, but they're having fun anyway. So they made money in Watson again. <laughs> Burrow down the middle, complete to the tight end more, and he's got a first down. Run the ball wide. How do they do it? Georgia blitzes here. Burrow fires far side. Another nice pitch and catch. Jamar Chase. That's his third grab of the day already yeah. for the freshman out of Metairie, Louisiana. Coverage away from him. Edward Zelayer, first down, and he busts into the secondary. Edward Zelayer in a foot race. Inside the 10-yard line. J.R. Reed saved a touchdown. He will get the carry, try to cut it outside, and he's dropped for a loss by Natrez Patrick. 218 pounds, and it's his call, and he's in. Touchdown, LSU. Unless the ball was out. The ball came loose, but probably after he crossed the line. He likes to run the ball. He says, I'm never going to slide. If anything, I'll run out of bounds. So just putting his head down and going straight ahead is fine. You know, and I also think if he would have tried the Drew Brees jump up. Um, is a three and out on their next series. They've got to get nine here. From fires incomplete, and it is a three and out. Reedy Williams in the coverage. <laughs> Jonathan Giles, fair catches, and goes down to his knees to ensure that catch at the 30-yard line. Joe Burrow to throw on deep middle. Jefferson wide open. 
Justin Jefferson inside the 20, still fighting for yards. Here comes Walker. Got to Burrow, and Burrow had to just get rid of it. Well, he had a screen pass on, so he was willing to retreat and wait. But the back never got freed up. Brissett was running the screen. He's going, please, please, get out there. And just about a half yard short, that would have been a walk-in. The kick is perfect. So tack on three more. From fires deep on the sideline over here. Terry Godwin looking for a flag. There is no flag. I'm 0 for 4 on third down. Giles, fair catch, taken around the 29-yard line. He's in the shotgun this time, though. Well, it didn't matter. Edward D. Lair into the secondary, and it's inside the 20 for the Tigers again. Well, you know. Second and 10. I thought there was a false start, but I guess not. Burrow in trouble, and he's going to go down. Oh, man, and maybe out of field goal range, too. Everything that could go wrong went wrong on that play. In here. They're going to keep it on the ground with Burrow, and Burrow, he gets some of that back, yeah, he back got, into field goal range. Absolutely. This one from 39, just inside the left upright. Their freshman there joins him in the backfield, James Cook. Brian Harrell broke one tackle, not going to get away from the next one. It'll be a loss of about a half yard on the play. Here comes a blitz from the secondary. Fromm's in trouble. Got out of it somehow, and then incomplete to DeAndre Swift, who had about 20 yards of grass in front of him. Then coming after the putter, but he got it away. And down he goes. Georgia got good pressure that time. Keon Richardson and Tyler Clark. Ron Rosenberg could have spent some more time before putting that. Nico Hardman trying to get everybody out of the way. Takes a Georgia bounce and then rolls back in LSU's direction around the 23 yard line. That's where. Matched up right now. And a bad snap. Fromm has to scrape it up and down he goes at the line of scrimmage. It won't be a sack. But it's still second and nine. It's to keep anything alive here as we approach a minute. Delayed blitz coming from over the middle, DeAndre Swift. Great job by Fromm that time. He wanted to go to the right side and throw the ball to Nada. Third down and five. Three again. From this throws incomplete and almost picked off by Kelvin Joseph. Things can happen. What if he dropped this ball? I just let it fall. And he does like what they're going to do. Well, it wasn't good enough to catch. Kept, kicked it out of <laughs> bounds again. And that's DeAndre Swift. And Swift, a good run and another first down, a pickup of 12 or 13. They fake it to him. From plenty of time, throws complete. This one to Riley Ridley, who finally has his first catch of the day, and it's another first down. Pressure coming off the backside. From knows it, and Logan's got him all wrapped up. First sack of the year for Glenn Logan. Where they think their least like pass LSU teams is in pass rush up front. But that time, Glenn Logan won. He beat his man one on one. I think. Zone again. From fires. Got a man out there. That's Nico Hardman at the 20 yard line. That was a long throw sure on this third down. He's in trouble. Down he goes. Michael Divinity with a sack. Wow, what a spin move. He was matched up against Andrew Thomas, the left tackle. Watch him spin his way into the backfield and make the play. Beautiful play on the left side over here. He spins inside, throws Thomas away. That's throwing a guy over 320 pounds away from you and makes the play. And the kick is good. So it took Georgia into the third quarter. Burrow 
Looks deep, now comes back shorter across the middle, complete to Jefferson. Trying to stretch it out to get whatever he can around that 30-yard line. Fever in the slot. And it's Brosette going the other way. And he's short of the first down. They ran right into the... They're inside the 20 specialist, if you will. End over end kick. And it drops at the five. Yeah. And it's down at the five. four. Can't do it any better than that. Four-man rush. Throws. Is it intercepted? Very close to it. Christian Fulton got up with the ball, but I think it's incomplete. And now Devin White pushes no, Terry think, Godwin. Right. It may be he just took it right off his hip. Let's see if it hit the ground or not. Wow. Boy, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't either. I didn't see it bounce there at all. The ruling on the field is an interception. Well, if they ruled it an interception, it's not going to change, I don't think. Not yet. I got to see one more time if the ball, does the ball hit the ground right? Ooh. I don't see it hitting the ground. Burrow looked over to him, throws it that way. Well, he's lucky. And he lucky. He, he's fortunate because he threw it. Today. And he's still perfect. As a nod of a tight end in motion. Play action from throws on the sideline. Cut by Nauta. And a first down. A little weak in the backfield. And it's Elijah Holyfield. And again, a power run. Yes. And he's still going. And this is the reason I thought they would use Justin Fields this season. Because with him in the game, the running game works better for everybody else. Holyfield heading to the goal line, end zone, touchdown, Elijah Holyfield. And I think they got to go for two here to make it an eight-point game. They come up to the line in a hurry from the pitch. Now it's an end around, and it's DeAndre Swift, and he's short. Devin White made the tackle. Well, games, it's not going to be easy to finish this game if you're LSU. Almost picked off over there, intended for Justin Jefferson. That's two. And it is on the fly for Hardman. Trying to get to the edge, 45 midfield into LSU territory inside the 40. Corner blitz may be coming. It is. Holyfield picks it up from... Looking oh, and you waiting to too it. long. Got to throw it. Now you're out of field goal range. Give you the ball. We were in field goal range. I can't have you take me out of field goal range. This should have gone from a 10-point game to at least an attempt to play. You want to make a play. Yeah. Let's try a little too hard. Camarda's end over end punt. Taken around the 13-yard line by Giles. We'll give it off to him, and this is a good run. And Edward Zelayer into the secondary. LeCount's got to bring it down, but it's a big gainer. You get over. Play fake. Burrow loads it. Going deep middle. Got a man. Jefferson on the catch. In between two defenders. Five. He got away with it. Got it to the 18-yard line. Now the toss sweep. Edward Zelayer heading toward the goal line. Did he get in? Not quite, but he's close. That close, Burrow again. That close, touchdown, LSU. Emma, the first tool you buy in the toolbox to make fourth down and make touchdowns. With LSU with a nine and a half minutes to go and a big lead. Coming out. Nico Hardman trying to make something happen. He ran right big that collision. Tackle. And now he lost the ball. <laughs> LSU, I think, has got it. it. Might have been the kicker, Atkins. They got the ball, LSU does. Holy cow. And ran right through that tackle. But bad things happened after that. The ball popped loose. And then...
the guy that ends up with it, did anybody touch the ball when any part of their body was out of bounds? Atkins is out of bounds. Oh, the tight end in motion. They just keep it on the ground. Brosette, the safe play, is wrapped up by Jordan Davis. Gave me that nugget last night. And he's still perfect, five for five. Got the chains moved on the far side. They still don't have him set, but Fromm's going to throw on the sideline anyway, complete to Riley Ridley. Trying to get a little work done to get it down to the 25, down the field. At the 27. From to the end zone, touchdown, Riley Ridley. And there's the first score they needed. Brosette, and Brosette gets to the next level. Big first down run. He does a pretty good job of it. And now he's going to keep it himself. Joe Burrow on the run. A stiff arm. And Burrow trying to ice it himself. And it's Brosette. He's going to walk in the corner. Touchdown, LSU. Performance by the Tigers on their home field today. What is the East wide open now, huh? Jake Fromm throwing deep. That's going to be intercepted. There was two guys there. Greedy Williams wanted it, and John Battle took it away from him. Yeah, for anything short, he shows bump and run, but he's retreating all the way, playing the deep ball, and Battle took it right away from him. So speaking of the East, which game last time when we sat in the box, he said, if you want to come to the Georgia game, you better bring more than a half, half a hamburger. A burger. Well, I'll tell you what, LSU played more than a half a game, and they deserve this one. Yeah, this was a steak day. You bet. Georgia falls to 6-1 and one and 4-1. and one. LSU climbs to 6-1 and one and 3-1. and one. So there'll be a shakeup. In the top 15 in the country as LSU will move forward in the rankings and Georgia will fall.